in and out, in and out. He does a fan. Oh! 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 oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! He slept in bed out of nowhere and didn't okay. even bother Sorry. following relax, up. Relax. You can't say enough about the performance of Peony on right now. No, you can't. And Uriah has had some success. He definitely did. Oh! Oh, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. UFC 280's feature belt will represent the next step in a climb up the bantamweight ranks. One, two, slip, two. For Sugar Sean O'Malley. Slip, slip. Once a young upstart with a wealth of promise. One, two, block my body shot, uppercut, three, two. Now a top fighter with a growing business acumen. I remember telling my mom, like, I'm gonna be a millionaire, and she was just like, whatever. Should we see if Hunter's ready? But my career's pretty much gone perfect. I managed my own UFC career. I've learned a lot, I've grown a lot. What's up, everybody? It's it Friday here at UFC headquarters, and today we're trying a traditional Russian dish pairing under a fur coat. I'll try to get a little bit of everything in there. Tastes like something Russians would eat. Everything's happened for a reason, and I'm very happy with how everything's played out. Dude, seriously, yeah, congrats, man. That's my f***ing great Let's go. And I get kind of sentimental when they said it was going to be you, and I was like, I just remember when he was yeah, right? little. Right? How long ago was that? Uh, well, you were season one, so 2017, so five years ago. Sean, congratulations. You've had, again, all of a matter of moments for this to sink in. What's going through your mind right now? I literally picture this. I know everyone says that, but I picture this. I picture me knocking this kid out. Oh, that's it! Sean O'Malley! And everything's just going perfect. Welcome to the Sugar Show! O'Malley's flash and charisma have shined bright. Oh! Since earning his contract on Dana White's Contender Series. This is what you want when you're looking at a young prospect. A half decade later. Is he living up to the hype with Sean O'Malley? Oh, O'Malley goes high! The answer is yes. The budding superstar owns eight electrifying wins. The Sugar Show! And is showing no signs of slowing down. Oh! oh! The walk up KO! It's time to buy stock in Sugar Sean O'Malley. Oh! He's a mean dude. Oh! oh! He likes to put the hurting on people. Oh! sitting to my right was kind of the signature star of Dana White's Contender Series. Sean O'Malley is with us now. So you're going to actually call a fight with us here, this one coming up. DC, you think this gets out of the first? I have no idea, Sean, but I'm excited to I watch don't. it. I don't either. I, don't. I, I have a feeling this might end uh, brutally. I can't see the left arm of flowers. No, it's in there. Ooh, okay. Oh, that doesn't feel good. Oh, my God. He is in some serious pain. You know, Gogo's still young, 24 years old. You know, it might get another shot on here. That, that's unfortunate for him. Good for Flowers, though. Thanks, Sean. Appreciate yes, it, my sir. man. It's not much of a rock star lifestyle. It might look like it sometimes, but for the most part, I wake up, I do dad I love making coffee. This is my little coffee spot. All right, let's go check out some bedrooms. You know, Danny makes breakfast, and then I recently bought a house. You want this house, princess? I'll buy it for you. Kick back. <sighs> I go game. Great job commentating. Oh, yeah, how'd you guys like it? It wasn't long. I got a whip. I got a car. I got a car. I got a car. Go right here. Go right here. Go right pushing you, pushing you. One shot, one shot, one shot. Get my Lamborghini, drive to the gym. Yeah, I guess it is a rock star lifestyle. It's fun, I can enjoy it. Big inhale, good power exhale, use the exhale to drive. I don't know this go last second. But for me, I have to live in a pretty disciplined life because I have to go fight killers. If Sugar Sean expects to continue enjoying the high life, He must defeat his most frightening opponent to date at UFC 280.
Former UFC bantamweight champion Piotr Jan. Good control, control. There we are. Is hardened by a lifetime in the gym that began in his native Russia. Hard, hard work, hard work. And continues with regular training camps in Thailand. One, two, drive. Representing Siberia, Peter Yan. Oh, look at this! Peter Yan is ringing off combinations <laughs> at will. <laughs> He's starting to look a little bit like he's locked in the octagon with a Siberian Tiger. This dude's a problem, man. Oh! He really is. The Tiger Muay Thai product now competes, motivated by the feeling of intern. Benamway champion of the world, Piotr! Undisputed gold once wrapped around his waist. It's a very powerful energy. And every time you want to feel these feelings, this adrenaline drive. Piotr Jan will be disqualified, and Aljamain Sterling will be the undisputed UFC Bantamweight champion. To this day, reigning king Aljamain Sterling is the only man in the UFC who owns wins over Jan. Scorecards could be all over the place, you really don't know. Very dangerous situation for Piotr Jan. Those losses have only strengthened Jan's drive. Это такой этап в жизни в спорте, который я преодолеваю. Это мой путь, да. Самурая нет цели, у самурая есть путь, и вот. На сегодняшний день я думаю, что это внутренний огонь, который движет мной. Есть еще некоторые моменты, которые хочется доказать самому себе. Принимаю вызовы и... Надеюсь, что после своего поединка буду драться за пояс снова. For both Piotr Jan and Sean O'Malley, victory at UFC 280 is paramount. It is the only outcome that puts them one step closer to the ultimate goal. In my lifetime, I have to become the UFC champ. Once I become the UFC champ, then I want those super fights. I want the big fight. I want to sell pay-per-views. I want to be the main attraction. And I think this fight is how superstars get created. I got this dark side, born with the fight to survive. Best of the beast is alive. You the sugar show! In every facet of martial arts, Piotr Jan is a problem. Oh! One of the bigger fights of the year and a matchup as good as any in recent memory in this UFC bantamweight division. Безусловно, Амели он имеет навыки. Oh my goodness! Хайпа тут хочется потушить. UFC 280. I go out there and put Peter's lights out. In Abu Dhabi. The bright lights descend on a card for the ages in Abu Dhabi, where a bantamweight showcase. Pink Poodle, coming to kill the little Russian. We're about six days out from the fight. So just running over the basics, running over um, a lot of his tricks. 
um, just keeping it fresh in his mind and just getting a good sweat, really. We're being a little bit more specific for Peter because, I mean, he's the number one guy in the world for a reason. He's got the some of the best striking in the UFC, some of the best just top to bottom MMA in the UFC. We know what kind of tests we got ahead of us, but we're super confident in the preparation, so we're getting ready to go. Yeah, camp was good. I worked hard, prepared, did everything uh, what I did every fight. Same, yes. Conditional work, striking work, wrestling work. I wanna win my next fight and uh, I wanna fight for title fight. No doubt about it, Sean's a great fighter. Smart fighter, good boxing. I just don't believe he's fought anybody like Pidian. No doubt about it, if Sean wants to box him, he'll soon find out who's the best boxing. If he wants to wrestle, he'll soon find out who's the best wrestler. Anything he tries to do, Peter's level is above. For me, Abu Dhabi Emirates, it's best place, yes? It's my history. Two times I won belts. First fight was with Jose Aldo. Second fight was with Boris Sanhagen. Now, I want to smash my next opponent, yes? And uh, Amali will talk before fight. I will talk my fist. Well, we got here last Friday, so we've been here for about nine days. I think my last 10 fights have been in Vegas, so it's definitely, you know, for me, I feel like I'm a high-level performer. I could perform anywhere. So it's not that big of a deal. Vegas was always just very convenient, four hours away from home. But now we're, you know, on the other side of the world. It almost makes it that much sweeter, though. I'm just very confident going into this matchup. I've been fighting five foot six dudes my entire career. I'm 12 years into fighting, and, and this is just another guy. The best version of that style is Peter Yan. So I go out there and beat Peter Yan. I don't want people saying, oh, maybe Peter isn't as good as we thought. It's just I'm that good. I'm, I'm that good. I didn't think he was gonna take the fight, to be honest. I'm, I'm, I'm ranked number 12, he's ranked number one. I just didn't think he would take the fight. So I was messaging him on Instagram, talking a little <laughs> trying to just kind of give him a little extra incentive to take the fight. He accepted the fight. I don't think he thought I would actually accept the fight. So, you know, here we are. I go out there and beat Peter Yan. I'm 100% fighting for a title. It's without saying. The fans want to see me be champ. They're missing that kind of like Connor feeling. He's not here, he's not been fighting. They need that that guy, and I'm that guy. I go out there and beat Peter Yan. I go out there and beat TJ or Aljo, and, and then it's my era for the next 10 years. Thank you, thank you. What I think really separates Sean from other MMA athletes is his mindset and how he's cultivated the ability to bring presence and intention into everything he does. I think what's really cool with the, the opportunity to work with Sean is just to see him continue to grow and to embrace uh, not only his uh, physical practice, but his mental practice. He continues to become a bigger star and He's still very grounded as a solid human that, that works on himself. And that's a side that I think a lot of people don't see. It's a really cool piece of what makes Sean unique. How are you, brother? Good? Yes, yes. Good. How are you? Thank you, brother. Sugar Sheik, O'Malley. Sugar Sheik. Yeah, I love it. Welcome back to BT Sports. Uh, do you feel like he's undervaluing you? It's not his fault to look at me as, as a certain level. But whatever level he thinks I am, I'm, I'm better than that. I got a lot better in the last five years. I think I was kind of always ready to go with these top level guys, but now I'm like, I'm ready to be champ. I'm ready to be champ, defend the belt against anybody. I feel like I could go in there and fight Aljo, fight TJ Saturday night and, and get the job done. So n now, 27, about to be 28, just entering my prime and I'm ready for 15 minute war. 
but I would be surprised if I don't drop him. It's hot over here. We're kind of used to it. We train in Thailand, you know, so. You know, we've got two of the best strikers in the game here. It's going to be like a chess game at times. It's going to be a war at times. Is it the sit down where they're all sitting out there? Yes. Oh, perfect. Make my grand chic entrance. Yeah, it's going I should make everyone stand up when I walk in. Yeah. Hi, Sean. Sean, uh, first of all, can I, you tell us the uh, you tweeted try not to laugh at me when you when you see me today. Is this what you were referring to with the glasses and everything else? Yeah. Cheeto Anthony Smith said this is a, a smart matchup for you. It's, it's a high ranked opponent and a, a guy that can play into your style of fighting. Do you did you view that when they when they approached you with Pewter like this is the best matchup for you in that top five? He was he was the only guy after that Pedro Munoz fight. I went back to the UFC and said, "Hey, I you know I want to book a fight." Obviously, that one wasn't a satisfying victory. Um, Peter was l literally the only guy in the top ten without a fight. Um, he turned down Cheeto. Peter turned down Cheeto, so I don't think he really had an option. I think UFC probably went to him and said, "Hey, you can't just keep turning these guys down. You have to fight the Shika Show." So I know he was saying he picked that fight. I don't believe that. Uh, I think he got bullied into it. Do you and your team identify that first round as a massive opportunity? Because it feels like if he's kind of slow in that first round against you, it might not be such a good idea. So I just wanted to get your thoughts on, on that, really. Yeah, I would say he, he probably starts out a little bit slower because his style's kind of... It, it's a five-round style when he starts... You know, it's a different, completely different mindset when you have a three-round fight compared to a five-round fight. So I'm not really expecting him to come out there and kind of start as slow. He knows he only has 15 minutes. It's a lot different mindset than having 25 minutes. So I, I expect him to come out and try to get busy a little bit right away. Um, but I, it, it doesn't really matter to me. I can adapt. I think that's what being high level is, being able to adapt to whether he comes out slow, fast, you know whatever I feel like uh, I'm, I'm just better you seem very very comfortable is that how you feel yeah everyone asks me if I'm nervous and I'm like you know nervous to beat someone up not really if I go out there and face plan him I genuinely wouldn't be surprised oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh what's up what's up <laughs> he probably thinks I'm so crazy Welcome everyone to the open workouts ahead of the blockbuster event, UFC 280. First up in the bantamweight division, Sugar, Sean O'Malley. I think this is a massive fight. It's obviously not a main event, but this, this could be a main event. It's a massive fight. I have the skills, I have the abilities, now I have the opportunity to go out there and show the world that I'm as good as I've been saying I am. Give it up for Piotr No Mercy Yeah! Безусловно, у него есть навыки в стойке, он неординарный, нестандартный, вот. Но если брать в целом его собранность его ментальная составляющая, то я уверен, что я сильнее в этих аспектах. Ideally, I go out there, put his lights out early. That's what everyone up here wants to do. Uh, ready for 15 minutes, though. I'm going to smash Peter. How about that? Is that a better answer? For Peter, he says that you're not 5'7", that you're 5'5". Five five. Can you confirm that you are 5'7"? There's no way he can't. No, he can't. Any response, Sean, or are you just going to leave that one there? No, that was good, that was good. I kind of expected Peter to shove Sugar. 
you know, he's a short guy. He doesn't want to get kind of bullied. So when Sean got in his face, I kind of figured he was going to shove him. But Sean rolled with it. It wasn't that big of a deal. Uh, it's been a long couple weeks, and it's been a long weight cut and a long diet, but we're right on track. Let us have I'm sure there's a big bantam weight. He's always been super mentally tough during this. This is the, the fight before the fight. That's where you really got to tap into a lot of mental toughness, but uh, he's experienced, he's a vet, and he's super mentally tough, so we're, we're going to get it off. Our next fighter to the scale, the man many of you have come to see, the former undisputed UFC bantamweight champion and now number one ranked contender, Purion. 136. 136. This is for I eat you tomorrow. All right, next fighter to the scale, competing live on pay per view. He is the 11th ranked UFC bandweight contender, Sugar Sean O'Malley. 135.5. 135 and a half. The official weight for Sean O'Malley. Honestly, I'm more scared of Hasbula than Peter. Hasbula's got a right hand. What's going on, Abu Dhabi? Great to be back here. Piotr, no mercy, Don versus Sugar Sean O'Malley. 135 and a half. The official weight for Sean O'Malley. And his opponent is the former undisputed UFC bantamweight champ. And now the number one ranked contender, Piotr No Mercy, gone! Official weight, 136 for Piotr Jan. Dateline Abu Dhabi, where the breathtaking visuals can be seen. My fighting style, it's just a flow. I find people's chins, that's what I do. I don't just knock people out, I change people's careers. Oh, another highlight for the real! This fight, people are worried for me, and I love that. На сегодняшний день я думаю, что Who wants to see that dude standing across the octagon from him? So strong, so aggressive and so damn ruthless. He just breaks people down. Немножко больше, чем его, так скажем, бойцовского опыта там интеллекта, не знаю. Oh! The Sugar Show! UFC 280, I put Peter face first into the canvas in Abu Dhabi. Timing and speed equals power, DC. This man is a joy to watch on the feet. He's a willing grappler, but I don't think he's faced a caliber of opponent yet that might be able to bring that out. So it's either going to go one way or the other. He's the guy that has held the championship. And he intends to prove tonight that there are levels to the game. No issues on the scale for either man. We'll see if O'Malley can maximize what is a five-inch advantage in reach. So yep. far from O'Malley. Yep. You enter in the range where he doesn't feel comfortable. Nice body kick from Piotr Jan. Both of these fighters will switch stances. Both guys with some outstretched fingers, though, so they both got to be careful. There's a right hand gets through for O'Malley. Front kick appeared to land partially as well. Jan loads up on the left hand. O'Malley evades. Great right hand by O'Malley again. Now Jan shoots. 
lot of fans were expecting we'd see some of this. And he did. Yeah, nice work. O'Malley's got a lot of grappling heavy camps. O'Malley's doing a good job of throwing feints at him. Notice how he feints oh. to try to slow Jan down. Puts him down. Back up to his feet. Great job by Sean O'Malley getting back up to his feet. Body kick from Jan, a shot from oh. Oh. That was a nice change, level change. Lock under the butt, put him down, and get some top control. Trust that overhand left on the southpaw. Step low, use your eyes, and go right behind his ear. Clearly a speed advantage seen by Tim Welch in the corner of Sean O'Malley. Ooh. Oh! The knee to the body by Jan. There it is. He got that underhook. <laughs> oh, I love that trip. He did this against Algerman Sterling many times. A little back trip. Ooh, solid body kick there. Well, O'Malley got a right hand through. Nice handy work there by O'Malley as we come up on a minute to go in round two. Head kick blocked by O'Malley. Jan's gonna have to go to a single leg here if he wants to try to secure this takedown. Oh, he actually got through the double there. Ten minutes in the books. Beautiful, straight left, right on the chin. Comes oh, right back, goodness. lands his own left hand. Oh, that hurt Sean. Really put Sean on wobbly legs. Let's go. Five minutes with the number one. Hey, you're the number one motherfucker, Shug. Let's go. Let's, go. Let's, Let's dig deep. Powerful right hand for Jan. High cross there by Jan. Nice flexibility help there. Nice knee up the middle there from O'Malley. Left oh, hand is oh, open. Oh, Gotta be careful dropping the hands against Jan. Oh, oh that's done. Oh, that's huge left for Jan. Nice jab by O'Malley. Oh, huge head kick. And that's that urgency you want to see from the O'Malley corner. Firmly focused on his offense here and excelling in the clinch under 90 seconds to go. Oh, oh big left from Jan. Who is showing off a hell of a chin tonight. Yeah. Oh, that's big. What a fight! Sean O'Malley, Peter Jan! Right here, throws that knee that busts Jan open and hurts him. Here comes another one. He gets, and then the right hand behind it. Sugar! Sean! I had to go somewhere I've never been before. You know, that's what, that's what happens when you fight the number one guy in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for your winner! Sugar Sean O'Malley. Was the plan still to have Sean fight Algermain, considering Sean won and Algermain won? Does Sean fight Algermain uh, yeah, now? Yeah. I, I, I don't know. I mean, you know, I don't make fights tonight. The fight just happened. Uh, we'll see what's next. Dana, what do you think of. This is insane. They just do it to mess with you at this point, I think. <laughs> uh, what did you think of Sean O'Malley's performance? You know, some people uh, think the judges got it wrong. I'm curious about your uh, assessment of it. Did you think he won the fight, and, and what did you think of his performance? Yeah, well, we talked about, we discussed this going into this fight. Lots of people were like, you know, why are you giving him this fight? It's too soon. He shouldn't be taking this fight. Sean Shelby was right. Did you think he won the fight? Some people are saying Peter Yan should have got the decision, but did you think O'Malley won? How did you score it? It was one of those razor-thin, close fights. I could see people saying Yan won the fight. I could see people saying O'Malley won the fight. It's all, I, I, what's weird is, it wasn't the way I thought it was with the judges' scorecards. I thought, depending on who you gave the first round to, determined who won the fight. But that was not the case, apparently. It's kind of a blur, to be honest. You know, he caught me with some good shots. Peter, he's a tough dude, man. It's a tough Russian right there. So uh, I'd, I'd, I'd like to really watch it back before I could, you know, dissect it. And Dana was here, and I asked him if, if you would be next for Aljamain Sterling, and he said he'd have to, you know, circle up with his team and figure something out. So if it was up to you, would you want that title shot next? Do you want something else in the it's, meantime? Yeah, it's so hard. To, like Dana says, it's hard to make fights that night right after or the day of. Um, I'm sore. I have a headache. I'm tired. 
I don't want to fight anyone. Sometimes you talk about you know, having to answer questions from the fans and they've always got more questions about you. But do you feel that tonight you got to prove that A, you got a great chin because he cracked you with some shots and B, that you got great grappling because you're able to get up for every time he took you down? Do you feel like you answered those doubts at least? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm sure there's still people out there, but I think I answered, you know, the you know, kick his legs was the first one. Now it was, ah, well, you can't just kick his legs. We'll take him down. Peter kicked my leg, took me down, still won. So, I mean, yeah, I'm answering questions little by little. Apologies, my mind may have gone blank and you might have come out to this before, but I felt like the song that you chose for your walkout today, uh, Superstar by Lupe Fiasco, was that like a reminder for you as you're going into the cage that, yeah, if I am who I say I am, I need to perform? Yeah, you know, I, I, that song, it's a good song, man. I, I think I did that song one other time when I fought Jose Quinones when I had that two-year layoff, and uh, I, I'm a superstar, and I, you know, I feel like it, and uh, it's a good song. Congratulations. Thank you.